Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Baby Blue's Nightmare. Now, this is a demo for a new episodic horror game, and it's a little bit like the game Among the Sleep that we played a few years ago on the channel, where you play as a baby or a toddler, I think, actually, and you're kind of like exploring a haunted house at night. So, it should be an interesting game. I thought we'd check it out today as the developer kindly sent me a code over, and I believe the game comes out tomorrow on Monday. So with that said guys, let's sit back, relax, let's dive into Baby Blue's Nightmare, and let's see what this game is all about. Here we go guys. Oh. That must be our parents. He was a bit different than the other kids around his age. Instead of playing with the other kids, he loved to play with his toys. While all the other kids chose the most beautiful dolls to play with, Aiden, on the other hand, used to ask all the time why the other dolls always got Oh God, the dolls have woken up. The beautiful ones get the most attention. So Aiden loved to collect the least beautiful dolls so they don't feel left out. Are they getting closer to us? He felt sad when someone was being left out. He wanted to be kind to everyone, despite their looks. Aiden was obsessed with a show called Red Belly and Friends and collected all its dolls, except Red Belly himself. Because even though Red Belly was the nice looking one, he was always mean to the other dolls. Aiden didn't like when someone was mean to others. He had kitty paws. Mr. Bunny Teeth, Miss Starry, Honey Claw, and Cloud. Oh man, they're looking right at us. He always wanted them to sleep next to him because they made him feel safe. The real monsters wouldn't come near him because the dolls were his protection. No! He never went anywhere without them. Everywhere he went, he took them with him. Each and every one of them. Until one day, they were gone. Maybe it was the work of Red Belly, the nicest one among the group. Because sometimes the real monsters come in a nice way and with a friendly face. Good night. Okay. I do not trust the dolls. Wow, that's loud. Yeah, I do not trust these dolls, guys, and they looked pretty weird. I feel like those dolls are from an asset pack, though. <laughs> I think we've seen them in another game, maybe. But I could be wrong. Never mind. They're apparently in this house as well. Anyway, we've woken up. We are this little kid. Aiden, I think she said. That was obviously our uh, our parent there. And we've got to find all of our five protective dolls. I don't know why those dolls would be our protective dolls. Because they looked uh, pretty insane, but never mind. Oh, we can blink as well. Or we, I think we just naturally blink. What the heck is that? Oh, Q for grab. Is it? Yes. Look at this. It's like a spider thing. Oh. Uh, so what am I meant to be doing here? I can go on top. Oh, look. There's a cutlass. Guys, you can pick up the cutlass and rotate it. Interesting. Um, what are we meant to be doing, by the way? I have no idea. Do I need to open this? Is this one of our dolls? I guess... No, just a toy? Oh, maybe what we do, guys, is we get out of the bedroom. So, maybe grab the stool and we open the door. Because I have no idea. It says just find the dolls, so I'm going to try and do that. Ah, uh, here we go. Yes. Use the door. Nice. Oh, God. Bro. What is that? Is that a teddy bear or a dog? It kind of looks... Our parents are arguing. Doors with uh, lock box can be opened if you reach them, I think it said. Requires a key. Yeah, our parents are arguing, um, which is obviously kind of troubling. It's blocked from the other side, can't be opened. Okay, I'm kind of confused. There's so much going on right now. That's locked. 
Huh. So we need to find a key to open the gate and go downstairs. I wish they would shut up, quite honestly. This isn't good for the kid to hear their parents arguing so much. Can I take this and do something with it? I don't know. Oh wait, there's a, a note on the floor. Q to examine. Ah, oh, yeah, get the stool. Okay, yeah, makes sense. So, pop that down. Now, can we get the deadbolt? Remove it. Thank you. Oh, look at this. What the heck is that on the screen? Some objects can be moved around to reveal a passageway. Okay. What, like this? Can I move that? Man, that there's so much going on in this game. It's so noisy. Oh no, we grab these. And we move them out the way. I see. And then we can open this. Open the vent. Crawl through the vent. Nice. Okay, we're making progress. This game is confusing. <laughs> there's so much going on at all times. Um, but we made it. Oh, we've got a little um, little puzzle here. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Uh, well, that's the answers, I think. So, crayons allow you to draw. Okay, so... Oh, God. Okay, that's a really bad 2, guys. I can't draw with the mouse very well. That's a 4. That's meant to be a 4. Okay, it's not a 9. Um... <laughs> Do I need to do anything else? Can I draw on this? No, you can only draw on certain surfaces. Can I draw on the wall? I'm going to put screw. What the heck is that sound? Bro, I'm going to put screw you to my parents because they're arguing all the time. Screw you. Just going to put a U. <laughs> There you go. I don't condone drawing on your parents' walls, by the way, guys. It's a video game. Just to put it out there. I don't want to get blamed for someone graffitiing on their wall par parents' walls if they have a disagreement. Uh, what do we do? Can we move this? Surely not, right? The kid would never be able to uh, move that and open the door. Uh, what do I do then? I don't know. Seriously. Oh. I know what to do. It's just like Among the Sleep. We, we move the drawers, guys. And then we can get to the top, right? Hey, look at that. Easy. And then we get the key. Ah! Yes! Okay, we got the main gate key. So now we can get downstairs. We can go and uh, sort of see what's going on down there. I don't know how long this chapter is. Oh! Teddy bear just got dragged off by something. Oh! Actually scared me a little bit. Where did that even come from? I don't know. I don't want that. What the heck is that? Is that someone out? No, that's just the... The clouds. It's a full moon. I thought someone was looking at us through the window then. Right, you know what? I'm out of here. Do I need that again? Probably not. Let me away! They're still arguing. What the heck? Oh! Wow. What the heck? You're crying. The enemy knows where you are if it gets just said. Dolls. What the heck is this? Find a way to unlock the front door. You need your dolls. Crime will make you vulnerable. And the enemy will instantly hear you. Okay, I'm t it's too much to take in right now. What do I do, guys? Did it say something about... I think it said something about eating chocolate on the loading screen to calm yourself down. Chocolate. Ah, yes. You can restore your crime meter by eating the chocolate. So how do we do that? How do we do it? It's for... Oh. Here we go. Use. And it also tells us our objective. And that looks really creepy as well. That zebra there. Find all five of the protective dolls and then find a way to unlock the front door. Okay, we got our objective. Freedom outside. Something bad just went down with our parents. It sounded like they had a big fight. Something smashed. Yeah, let's just go. Let's go and investigate. Ooh, 
They've been drinking. Wait, is that blood? What happened? Or is that just alcohol? I don't know. You can hide under tables by crouching down and moving under them. Ow. Oh, just this table. That wasn't a table, was it? Silly me. I'm hidden. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So, when there's a little hand there, it means we can crouch. Okay, I get it. Uh, but what do I even do? Like, what's the objective here? Oh, we can crawl through this vent. Oh, God. Crouch. Why is it not crouching? It wasn't crouching for some reason. <laughs> it does now. It's fine. It's worked. We've got a refrigerator. Let's see what's in the fridge. Healthy foods such as apples will restore your health. You can press tab to open your inventory. Okay, so can I take the apple? Nice. I'm on full health, though. We don't really need to mess with that right now. All right, let's keep going. Oh, man, the blood is leading down to the, the basement there. Can I do anything this way? I like to... F oh, God. Bro. Wait, did they shut the door? Am I locked out? I have to go this way. I wanted to go down and see what was um, in the basement as well. Do I... Oh my god, am I stuck? I almost got stuck. I unstuck myself. Alright. Can I actually go back this way? Because I feel like I was meant to, uh, to go into that basement. Yeah, let's check it. Alright, here we go into the basement, guys. Oh my goodness, is that meant to be a doll? But we... Oh. Debris such as rubber ducks and glass will make noise when they're stepped on and alert your enemies. Bro, are you going to wake up? Hello? That is weird. Why would that be down in here, in the basement? I don't know. Can't go that way. It's blocked off. Let's go this way. Oh, no, 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 no. We've got clown dolls. My two big phobias are dolls and clowns. I don't know why I don't like them. The heck is that? Is that our shadow? All right, then. I think everything's fine. What the heck? Why are you looking at me like that, you freaky doll? It's locked from the other side and can't be opened. Well, I didn't actually want to go in there. I was just checking it. <laughs> so that's good. What the heck is this? Is this like an actual human? Or is that just a weird puppet? I don't know. We've got a toy box chest. Hello? Did you uh, just wake up? Were you here before? Screw this. Where's the toy box? Oh, this opens. We've got mannequins, guys. What is that? Chocolate? Give me that chocolate. I have no idea where to go. Oh, it says run. Can I go through this? I can't go that way, guys. Oh my god, what the heck is that? Alright, screw it, I don't care what it is. Go upstairs now, we're running, guys. This is very loud as well. Guys, what the heck? Oh, we can hide under the table, right? I'm going the long way, why the heck is this a freaking giggling clown, guys? Okay, cr crouching under. I'm hidden. Man. All right, where is it? And why is that so loud, man? That it sound, I'm gonna have to turn this down on my video. This sound is insane. Where am I expected to go here, guys? I have no idea. Maybe this way? Oh! Screw this, I'm back. You can hide under the table. I can't hide under the table, guys. Oh my god, he's in the room. It sometimes doesn't let you crouch. Why is he spitting everywhere? Is that like, is that like ink or something? Enemies are attracted to sound, so throw objects to distract them. All right, I don't, man, that was so loud. Holy crap. All right. They will get agitated if you hide frequently. Are you kidding me? All right, so are we going back upstairs now? Is that the the idea? 
Right, where was the toy box, guys? Oh, the toy box was in our room at the start, wasn't it? Okay, this game is insane. But you know what? I'm gonna actually shut that gate. Actually, no, I won't, I'm not. I'm not gonna worry about it. Let me open the toy box. Is this not the toy box? Wait. Let me check. We've got to find the protective dolls and get out of the house still. We're just going to go to the front door in case I've got the front door key. I don't know if I got the right key for the front door. I thought it said the toy box key. No, we have got the front door key. Okay. Don't know how I missed that. Oh, it's kind of raining outside. Are we safe? We got outside. Now what do I do? You can store some items in your cart. Do I want to do that? Why would I need to store items in my cart? Alright, I'm getting out, guys. I feel like if I don't get out, you know, that thing's going to catch us up. Let's get on the trike. Can I ride it? Yes. Ah, oh, this is nice. Okay. Oh, God. There's dolls looking at us. I don't know. What the heck? What's going on? I can't turn, guys. What the heck? I don't think you are our mom. I don't trust you. Oh! What the heck was that? It was like a giant hand burst through the fence. Okay, so Baby Blue's Nightmares wishlist now on Steam. Okay, so I think that's the demo for the first chapter, but I'm not sure. Either way, that was an interesting little game, you know? <laughs> kind of strange. There's a lot going on in that game. But yeah, it was fun enough. We play as a toddler. It's kind of um, very uh, Among the Sleep, as I said, which is what we played a few years ago. You play as a toddler and there's, you know, monsters stalking you in the house. There were a few parts that were a bit janky, like trying to hide under the table. It didn't always like crouch. I think if you're too close to the table, it doesn't recognize it needs to crouch. I don't know why we had to store stuff in our cart. Maybe that's just an upcoming game mechanic. I also don't know why there's a foot in the uh, ball pit there. Kind of questionable and there's some like flesh in the corner to the back. Yeah, I think the monster designs are the biggest like letdown because the monster designs, I think, are like just Unity asset pack monster designs. Would have been cool to see some original ones, but definitely like a fun little experience, something a bit different. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you do want to check out the game, it comes out, I think, tomorrow on Steam. So I'll leave a link to the Steam store page below. You can go and wishlist it, check it out, all that good stuff. Once again, thanks to the developer for sending me an early copy. And uh, yeah, thanks to you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment down below. And of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you all on the next one.